Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Fungo here. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a typewriter effect for your text GUIs in Roblox Studio so that when you have tutorials or NPCs talking or text showing up anywhere in your game, you can have it look much more professional and clean. Let's get right into the video. So once you open Studio, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you already have your UI made. As you can see here, I have a very simple, it's just a screen GUI with a frame, a UI gradient for the look, and a text label. But the only one of these that you actually need to make sure this functions properly is a text label inside of a screen GUI. Just wherever your game has your text label GUI set up, you're going to want to insert the script in that place. So for me. I have my screen GUI. I'm going to insert a local script into your screen GUI. Now, once you have this local script inserted, the first thing you are going to want to type is local text label equals, and then you are going to want to get the text label that you want to type the text into. So for me, that would be script dot parent dot frame dot message. So now that we've accessed our text label where we are going to be actually typing the script, we're going to need to make a function for the typewriter effect so that we can call the function whenever we want to type script out onto the screen. So you're going to type local function typewriter effect to declare your function. And then in open bracket, close bracket, you're going to want to type object comma text and then go after the end bracket and click enter. So you should see this right now, we have our local function called typewriter effect, which will take two variables, one called object, one called text. First thing we need to do after you create your function is do for i equals one comma hashtag text do. So, once, so the first thing you need to do is your function is loop through this block of code for however many times there are characters in your text. I'm not sure if that made sense. Um, so say our text is hello welcome to my game. There are one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So about 24 characters in this string. So what it's gonna do is starting at one and going to the length of the text, so 24, it'll loop through whatever is inside of this for loop that many times. So if the length of your text is 24 characters, it'll loop through the for loop 24 times. So once you have that down, you're gonna wanna write object.text to access the text value of your text label equals string dot sub text one i so text comma one comma i what this is going to do is we're going to get the object variable that we passed through access the text value and change the text value to um the string sub so what string dot sub does is it'll get basically we're going to be changing the text to however many characters we are on for i so if it's your first time looping through the for loop you are going to, i is going to be equal to one so it's going to print out the characters of text one and one so let's just go through here again say this just says hey on the first loop through it's going to loop through character one going to print out character one to character one so this Next loop through, i is going to be equal to 2, so it's going to print out character 1 and then character 2. Next loop through, i is going to be equal to 3, so it's going to print out character 1, character 2, and character 3. So basically it is just printing out a set number of characters from the string you provided equal to whatever number loop we're on in the for loop. We're going to add a weight 0.05. So if you don't do that, it'll all just print out instantly and lose the typewriter effect. 
You can change this number, the lower it is, the faster it'll type it out. This is how long of a wait there is between each character. So how long of a wait there would be between the H and the E being typed. 0 0.05 is what I like to do, I find that's a nice time. And then I'm going to add a wait 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait 3 seconds and call typewriter effect and pass through text label, comma, and then whatever you want to say. So I'm just going to say, hey, welcome to my game. I hope you have fun, exclamation mark. So whenever you wanted to have the text type out in the typewriter effect, you would just call the function. The first variable you're going to put is your text label, and the second one is your string. So say our say we made a um, string variable back up here. If I did local string um, local message equals hey welcome to my game. I hope you have fun. And then instead of putting the actual string, we could just put message. So remember, you call your variable. I mean, you call your function by typing the function name, same as up here. And then you pass through the object or the instance of the text label and then pass through the string that you want to be printed or the text value. The wait three, that is just saying once the game starts, wait three seconds just to make sure we're loaded in. That will not actually affect how well it works. So we're going to go ahead and test this now. If I click play. As you can see, it waited three seconds, and now it is typing out the text in a fun typewriter effect. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comments below on how I can improve my videos, what kind of videos you would like to see in the future, or just any general comment you want to leave. Also, I'd appreciate if you would join the Discord channel. The link to that is going to be in the description of this video. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.